Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Code of Princess. In the last episode, Solange and Ali reunited with Zozo and Allegro, and we also discovered that Ali is actually Solange's long lost friend, Alcena, who they met long ago, and she held on to her charm ever since as a good luck charm and a uh, happy pappy memento of the friend that she once had. And now they're reunited in the future, it makes me so happy, and oh my god, I love it so much. Now that charm wasn't just for dramatic storytelling effect, don't worry about that. It is actually an equipable item, which is really stinking cool. Here it is, it's under weapons. It's actually a weapon. Burst deals damage on activation, Solange's childhood lucky charm. Again, this was incredibly overpowered in the 3DS version because all you have to do is activate burst and that big explosion that happens when you do burst, that big uh, explosion effect, it does damage now. And in the 3DS version, you can just keep turning it on and off and on and off and on and off over and over and over again. And it will keep on doing damage to all the enemies around you and you could end entire battles just by doing that. Obviously that gets nerfed in this version because it was just way too overpowered and I probably would abuse the heck out of it if I had it available to me. But yes, Molly, the Sunny Mayura is the ultimate weapon in Code of Princess, the ultimate friendship. I'm sure she's so happy as if she's actually watching this. But okay, I'll probably send it to her just so she can see that she is the light of our life. But whatever, we got ourselves the Sunburst weapon. It decreases vitality and defense, but I think it's best suited to give it to Solange because it, it's her lucky charm and Allie wanted her to have it. Of course. However, we're going to be playing as Zozo in this episode. <laughs> The castle's just up ahead! Whoa, that's one big pile of bones. Let's try some diplomacy for once. Zozo, I nominate you. Go negotiate! You do know I'm not a zombie. That has come up, right? Once or twice, maybe. It's coming! We got to defeat a bunch of enemies, and it's playing the Zozo theme for this area, because why the heck not? Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we're back here in the place where we met Zozo. It's like we've come full circle, except we haven't gone completely full circle yet. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, these guys. How do I get the uh, solidify attack? Excuse me, you jerks. Being very, very rude today. Just go ahead and get rid of all these fools. I believe, again, in the 3DS version, you fight the big monster thingy right off the bat, but... They switched up the boss fights to where you don't have to fight all those enemies all at once, so it's appreciated, I guess. See if we can get rid of all these fools. How do I do the the solidify thing? I thought it was just down B, but not okay, but down A, there you go. Freeze everyone, except for the floating enemies and Well, it doesn't work on undead, and it does it should work on undead, I thought it did. Apparently I don't know anything about this game anymore. Uh, let's see if I can get the heck out of here and jump over here and I want to just start using electric thing. This is super powerful against uh, armored enemies. Like when I was doing off screen training uh, with Zozo, I was just using this over and over and over again. And it was just uh, mutilating everybody. It's very stinking fun, but not super great against these enemies, or at least it doesn't seem like it. And we're getting some of them taken care of. So we get rid of them. I wish I could lock onto one. Thank you. Now I can actually see how much damage I'm doing. They got a lot of sinking health. Uh, we got meat. Must get the meat. And get rid of them. Use that. And that. And a little bit of that. I have fun. Enjoy. I enjoy destroying enemies like this. Even though it doesn't seem like it's doing that much damage. So I should stop. Uh, I'd have to defeat just two more enemies and they'll disappear. Okay, sounds like a good deal if you ask me. There you go. And it's boss time. Defeat the boss. Uh, we gotta defeat the Skeleton King. OMG, he does have some enemies with him. So we can uh, lock onto him. There we go. And go and do that. And excuse me, do that. Uh, he's too off screen for him to get hurt. God darn it. Go, 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 go. Go do it. Ah, darn it. Okay, got it right at the last second. Very, very good. And he's gone. Simple enough. Hey, I'm locked on to you. You can't run away from me forever. And we got a bunch of level ups. Oh, I just realized the other party members are going to be a little behind on levels because I'm getting all these level ups when they're not even here. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do the Crypt King now. It is, it is said that some undead have the ability to regenerate. Gee, I wonder what's about to happen. 
And I guess what? Okay, gee, again, I wonder what's about to happen. Uh, sure, because we haven't played as them in a while. Why can't I go down? Okay, so my controllers are acting up a bit. Let's see if I could get back into the groove of using these characters that I have not used in a long stinking time. It's no use! It's no use! It just won't stay down. I'm too young to die! Stand back! Return to your grave! It's Sister Helga! I've never been so happy to see her! I've purified him with the light of the gods! Vile and dead! No offense, Lady Zozo. <laughs> She's like, eh, whatever. Shooting star! Dire chinchilla stance! Why? Hope you weren't waiting long. Glad you guys could join us. That was a sweet reunion entrance. Zozo, ours was kind of lame. Maybe we should leave and come back again. It's good to see you all. Let's show this thing what we're made of. Please have multiple characters. Please have multiple characters. Please have multiple characters. Please have multiple characters. You know multiple characters? Are you kidding me? Oh, what, what happened to the great reunion? You were doing such a great thing, Gota Princess, and now, like, I'm just all alone again. Maybe, is it because I'm playing as Helga? That's why I cut away, because it spoiled that we could play as these characters again in this area. And I don't know why they did it like that, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm getting completely destroyed because I'm super under-leveled with these characters. Also, under-experienced, because I don't know how to use any of them. Uh, how about this? Every time I lose with one of these minor characters, I'll switch them around just so we can see them all in action, because I'm not sure if we'll get to see them all that much throughout the rest of the game. So, we'll get to see every minor character die over and over in this level. Hooray! And then I'll eventually switch back to Alinkro. Time to use the most top-tier character, which means I'm gonna win without any problems, right? Uh, probably not. Let's see what we could do, though. You know, at least give it a shot. Uh, if I could lock on, that would be... Fun and dandy, thank you. Oh, this electric attack nonsense is not fun to deal with. Uh, neither is combos, neither is also my controller not working. I hate to uh, use that excuse, but like it seriously feels that way. When I was on the character select screen, I kept on pushing down and it would keep going back up. I don't know if that's the game's problem or if it's a controller problem, because there might have been some controller throwing during the Schwartz fight. Uh, just saying, it may, may or may not have happened out of frustration and anger. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if we could do anything with these guys. I hope uh, Catfight isn't watching right now because it would be most dishonorable to uh, misuse his favorite character in that way. Let's try using Master T because I'm sure that's going to go over well. Already off to a great start, getting mauled by the minor enemies. I can't even get over to the Skeleton Knight. Okay, we got him over here now. Let's go ahead and see if we can freeze him. Let's see, we do that fancy drop kick again, trying to relearn this character that I haven't used. Like, I was all happy about the minor characters being able to, uh, not the minor characters, but just like the minor main cast, whatever you want to call them, that you could actually use them during story mode, but like, there's just been so little time to use them because there's so few missions and stuff, so I was hardly ever able to implement them throughout the entire game, sorry about that, but at least we got to see a little bit of them. Um, I'm still getting my booty handed to me by them, which is very unfortunate. I could do some off-screen training to like make it so I have to use these guys in this fight, but I don't know if it's entirely worth it. I'm sorry if that's sort of lame team. Maybe I'll show them off later on, but right now it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and switch back to Allegro. Take it away, Almighty Sage. Oh come on, not even when we're playing as the main cast, the minor cast doesn't come in to help us. Uh, they really are stinking useless. Okay, let's go ahead and do our guitar attack, and of course he's guarding. And do that, jeez, Allegro! When did he become so speedy? He just like zoomed his booty into his face. So we can get some attacks in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you kindly. I did not want to do that. Oh, does that a paralysis thing? Oh, no, 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 not a petrified thing. Get out of here! Come on, get some kicks in. And what the fruit is even happening? This is a really annoying fight. Uh, we like just did it with no problem with Zozo. Now it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna be a super annoying as heck this time. Uh, oh my God, Allegro, you're like almost dead. That can't happen. You're Allegro. You're the best character. Uh, just. Oh jeez, oh jeez, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. 
Oh, hey, his attack actually flew me up into the air, and I wasn't able to get hurt by that thing. Awesome! Let's see if I can attack properly. Oh, come on! They don't even help out when we're playing as one of the main characters. Oh, they really aren't useless. Okay, not really. I do like those characters. Just like, it's weird that they're part of the main cast and they don't do that much. They're just hanging out with us. They got some funny lines and stuff. That's all you can really ask for in this game. It's weird because, like, in Kid Icarus Uprising, the dialogue is nothing but comedy, and I actually really hated it uh, because of that. I guess it's just because I had expectations for that because it was, like, a Nintendo game, and I, I didn't really know the Kid Icarus cast all that much, but... I was expecting to be like some sort of another Zelda type game in terms of like the story and whatnot, but every character is just so stinking obnoxious and they never stinking shut up and it was just so stinking annoying I really don't like it because of that. But Code of Princess, it's a game that doesn't take itself seriously at all and I love the comedy aspect because I had like zero expectations for it to begin with and I guess that's why, but I don't know, it's just weird that with Kid Icarus Uprising I'm not okay with the comedy, but this game I am. And um, something else I'm not okay with is the fact that I'm getting completely mutilated. Isn't this supposed to be the same stinking fight? Like, what the heck happened? Oh, go and do that. I need to do the... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come uh, on. Get out of this area. Get out of here, get out of here. Okay, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Heal, 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 heal. Oh, that's not... And do all that much. Oh, I could keep on doing it. Okay, if you want to just stay there while I heal, I will gladly... I will greatly appreciate it. Okay, just keep on healing with Allegro if I can. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, just keep on rocking out. I know I'm losing a lot of my... Oh, jeez, why are you a jerk? I hate you. Uh, keep on doing that. Uh, go down here. See if I can get the drop kick in. Thank you. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, do that. Okay, he doesn't get stunned easily. God darn it, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Ooh, a present! There, go, go, go. Oh, uh, gonna heal up again. Uh, do that, and... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on, 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 Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Just get rid of all these minor bud munches. I might have a chance. Oh, just keep going. He doesn't get stunned by that like I wish he would. Oh, okay, hurry up. Go back here, and... Uh... Heal up a little bit more. I'm like juggling on the breath of life right here, whatever that means. On the brink of death, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, go over here, go over here. God darn it. I did not even mean to do that. Let's see if I could actually do this. That would be amazing. Come on. Uh, just get rid of this dude. Come on. Prepubescent Allegro. Uh, go over here, go over here. Uh, if I can get rid of this guy. That doesn't seem to be working. Uh, guy, he's got a lot of stinging health. Uh, hello, okay. Oh, of course I landed right in the stinging bomb, and I'm dead. Cool. Uh, Zozo, get in there. Let's see if I can do this with Zozo, because she had such an easy time the first time around, and jeez! Why is her laser just so stinking epic and stuff? I don't know why, but whatever. I guess you're just awesome, Zozo. I should just leave it at that. Uh, let's see. Can I get that attack in? Uh, go back into this frame. Uh, come down here, buddy. Come on. I need you over here. Just want to explode your face a little bit. Go explode! Uh, Zozo's getting frozen a little bit. Come on. Uh, just keep on doing this, and this, and this. And a little bit of this. Never hurt anybody? Come on, get it done. Uh, he was like guarding a little bit, but he was able to break through it, which is awesome. Come on, laser. I'm a fire in my lasers. And, wow. Zozo, you're just the best character ever. I don't know what else I could say, really. And now prepare for the best line in the game. evil souls burn no comment and on that note let's roll out hold your horses my friends you don't think I'd let you run off to die without some help do you mark an echo mark an echo you gonna lend us a hand hmm guess he isn't a greedy rodent after all I risked lives and limb coming here just to offer you a discount. 
How does 3% sound? Wait, you're charging us? <laughs> business is business. Did I not mention the discount? We're saving the world. Why isn't this stuff free? Look, people, I don't run a charity here. Well, I, I do, but <laughs> that's just for tax purposes. Hero Schmeros, let's say you win. The price of commodities will skyrocket. I need my wares. In my church, we teach that greed is one of the 47 deadly sins. Eh, I think I already violated about 12 of them today. Jeez, Allegro. So now the entire gang's all here, back together again. Thanks to Zozo kicking major butt, I never, like, I don't know why she's so insanely powerful. And we can play as the Dreadlord now, hooray, and Bonecaster. Uh, let's see, do we have time? Yeah, we got time for more episodes, for more, uh, stuff. Reunion, now that we have, uh, Marco Neko with us, we can play as him in this next mission. I like how Zozo did that in less than a minute. Now that everyone's together, let's go to Heliodor Castle, even though I'm sure Marco Neko's gonna get his booty handed to him. Does he actually have new stuff in his shop right now? Uh, well, he always has new stuff, but is it, like, specific to his... ...ziz? I'll take it. <laughs> Father! Father! I'm back! You can open the gates now! Isn't he supposed to be dead? Um, Solange? Yes, Allegro? Is there another way to open the gates? Only from the inside. What? Then we're screwed. It's for the best. There's probably an entire army behind these gates. Don't worry, gang. There's a secret passage. I've used it before. Back in your Alcena days, huh? Something like that. Hey, people! We got company! Okay, let's see if Marco Neko's any better now that he's got some levels under his uh, non-existent sleeves. Let's see if we can get some damage in. Cat versus rabbit. Are they like natural predators in the real world or something like that? I have no idea. It's gonna go and slice and dice, make more salad references. Remember, kids, eat your vegetables, because your good old Uncle Midnight Beyond said so. That's what the cool kids do. Cool kids eat salads and play Code of Princess. That's a quote of the day right there. Uh, just gonna keep on doing it. Doesn't seem like he's doing all that much damage. We're probably gonna have to switch to someone else because of the time limit. God darn it. Or how do I do this, uh, his sack of tricks again? Because that was what saved me last time. I think it's just down A. Uh, when he's on the ground, though. I just have to actually get to the ground. Uh, yeah, there's a poison bomb. You also throw, like, healing items sometimes. It's a regular bomb. Electric bomb. Regular bomb. Electric bomb. Look at all these bombs. I think they are more powerful than usual, which is even better. And see if we can get rid of this guy, lock onto him. Yeah, Marco Neko's actually doing kind of good damage. Cool beans. Uh, at least I got one cool character out of this new character edition thing, because I did not have this much fun with him in the 3DS version, that's for sure. I don't know if they changed up his moves there, but I just did not give him that much of a chance, because at that point I was like, yeah, the game's over, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Uh, originally I thought that, um, I don't know if we'll get to show it off, but like, originally I thought the way you unlocked Marco Neko in the original version was, be was that you had to buy everything from the shop, and then... I don't know if it's still in this version, because I think we have to wait until we, uh, get every single thing from the shop, then a secret option shows up that's called Donate to Marco Neko. It costs, like, 40 million G to do, and you can do it, like, multiple times. Uh, at first I thought it was just, like, for fun, like, this is a very weird comparison, but, like, donating to Artifact from Webkins, just giving him money for the heck of it doesn't actually do anything, just because if you want to. But, um, apparently it makes it so your characters will get more stat increases when they level up if you decide to reset them in the options menu. That's what the donations do. Uh, I never knew that, and I think I- oh, he's dead. I thought that the, um, unlocking criteria was that I had to donate him- donate to him over and over again until he, uh, wouldn't accept donations anymore, but it just turned out that I finished that quest and bought everything from the shop around the same time, so I thought that's how I unlocked him. But that's not how it worked. See if we can do this again! Okay, I'm gonna power myself up right off the bat, or right off the electric guitar axe is more like it. Allegro's so stinking cool, he's a stinking elf, but he's got like this awesome electric guitar that's also an axe, like, I don't know, every character in this game is so stinking awkward and weird, I don't, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that right now at like the end of the game, like, it's weird to say that, this is like the final area, we're almost done here, it's so sad, I don't know, I want this game to go on forever, as much trouble as it caused me in that one segment. Like, now that I'm, like, all powered up and stuff, I will gladly play this game forever and ever. Uh, it's sort of like Earthbound, how the beginning is just very stinking 
not crummy, but like it's the least enjoyable part because you're all alone and you're just stuck on the game forever because uh, enemies are so difficult and you need other party members to make things easy for you. But as soon as you get more friends on your side, more power and experience uh, from your adventure, then it becomes more and more enjoyable because you're no longer doing it alone. And you got a bunch of cool psychic tools to help you along the way, which is also helpful. But friendship is more important, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and just get rid of all these guys. I love how you just hurt everyone on the sinking field, Allegro. You are the best stinking character. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of him. And... Do the little bouncy, bouncy bounce. Yeah, Rabbids, you're the only one who can bounce around like this. Uh, attacking if I can. How about we do that? And god darn it. Not a good time to do it. Not a good time to do it. Let me down to the ground, please. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and do that. And... Real quick before it disappears. Okay, there we go. That's a lot of singing damage. Let's see if we can go back down here. And hey, we got ourselves a little psychic crystal. Or magic crystal. Whatever you want to call it. And oh, I should have stayed down because it would have protected me from all these very slow moving grenades that they're throwing. Uh, let's see. Just bounce around. Bounce, bounce. Trying not to sing that song from that one Pixar show about the bouncing goat. Uh, I don't know why you like bouncing so much, but whatever. Uh, just keep attacking. I should probably lock onto somebody so I have some sort of idea as to how much damage I'm doing. I haven't killed anyone, if you like. Uh, just do that. And... Uh, there we go! Okay, well, we got rid of one enemy. How wonderful. We still gotta get rid of nine stinking more. Uh, how about we do that, and... Okay, just keep bouncing. Uh, this works for me. Sort of. I know the rabbits have like a ton of HP. Is this the first time we've seen them actually? Might be. Uh, keep on going. Let's see if we can do a zoom. I want to do a zoom, but we can't do it because they're jerks with their stinking projectiles. Oh god. Uh, lock on. I like how tiny that little soldier is right there. It's like small soldiers. That movie's amazing. Uh, go and jump and jump. Zoom. And oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Come on. Come on. Bounce, 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 and do that, and that. Uh, we are locked onto somebody right now, so just keep on going, and come on, and we are good. Okay, good, I killed him with a lock on thing, cool. Why the heck not? Get rid of him. Uh, let's get myself some HP, because I need it. I said get myself some HP, because I need it, it's not working. Uh, breaking out of it. I wonder if you could cancel out of it on your own because it's such a long animation. Like, maybe you want to break out of it. Maybe that's why I was doing because I just kept on spamming buttons. As you tend to do in this game. Ouch. Oh, jeez. Come on. Allegro. 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 I need you to murder everybody because it's very important that I survive and that no one else does. Uh, very beautiful song. Allegro's uh, songwriting skills are just as good as mine. Oh, jeez. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Uh, we got three more we need to defeat. Okay, somehow I defeat like 20 enemies randomly. Oh, I don't want to go over there to the new enemies who have full HP. Uh, we got all these stinking bunnies. I don't know where all these weird stinking bunny things come from, but whatever. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that and that. Lock onto somebody. Thank you. And we are good to go, maybe. Oh, God. These guys are the worst. I don't know why. These guys are the worst. Oh god, I hate them. I hate them. Come on. Go. Okay, good. Got rid of one. We need to defeat one more. Who's the lucky sucker? You're the lucky sucker! Hooray! Get rid of him, please. Uh... And we're good. We're good. Get out of here, all of you. Get lost. Please don't be another phase. Please don't be another phase. Please don't be another... Okay, good. That was a tough sinking battle. We got a purple orb as well, cool. Just everyone gets level ups, hooray, gotta remember to mash A through this. And hey, everyone's above level 30, what a wonderful world we're in. Uh, we're still gonna look for that secret entrance, we're gonna probably do that in the next episode. Next time on Code of Princess, we're gonna look for the secret entrance into Heliodor Castle, because Solange's father, who's apparently still alive, is not answering the door, even though we thought he died and stuff. I don't know how it works, whatever. This is Midnight and Beyond, and this is Midnight and Beyond, and I'll see you all later. Good night, time like a bull for a second.